Misuru de Sara. Le check this out. Namaste, welcome to my channel, welcome to Thinking Asia, channel where we talk and write things related to India. So thank you so much for passing by one more day. You know, mi casa es tu casa. And I am enjoying a lot doing these videos, especially because I didn't know that at this time of the year, uh, it's too many festival celebrations uh, in India, and that's just amazing. And the most sad part, like I said in other videos, that I meant to be in India at this time of the year, you know, that was my original plan. Uh, so it makes me like every time I see like it just made me want like more and more be in India next year and this time but as well at the same time I'm thinking it's a long time to wait so hopefully my plan now my new plan that I am decorating to the universe is being able to go to India at the beginning of the year when once the COVID pass and then maybe in for this time of the year like this I see a lot of celebration a lot of festivals uh, but I'm really looking forward to do as well this one because we are finishing the Nab Nabarati period so now is the Misuru da Sara Misuru da Sara and I think so that's to celebrate the 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 triumph the over the good over the evil so um, uh, I want to see how you celebrate this now they am a little bit far so just want to see what I will be missing next, what will be missing now and what we can, I can see the next year. Uh, today you see me with glasses because I have been working editing a lot of uh, the videos that I was doing trying the Indian food in Guadalajara. I don't know if you, fo you follow me in my social media in Instagram and in by the Patreon. I was just there showing uh, some of the things that I was eating in, in Guadalajara. So I'm looking forward to it and to show it to you the video so i have been working on that uh, editing video so that's why my eyes at this point are really really tired so i have to wear the glasses so i'm sorry for that but it's my harry potter glasses so hopefully you like them and if you want to be part of this beautiful family that is thinking lash you can subscribe here and my social media you can follow me thank you so much for the people who supporting me uh, all this time that all your comments or your messages thank you so much so now let's go to watch this video and then we talk about this Wow. That's so beautiful. Wow. It looks like a, a, a big bend. And I imagine that every place they make it different, you know, their own. It's <coughs> wow. <laughs> I would love looking kids dancing. You the elephant you so impressive how they are like with all the the dressing like the painting the carnival that's just amazing the music 
I, I feel that the atmosphere in that moment was be like really joy, like excitement. Wow, 400 years. Wow. Wow, that looks amazing. Karnataka. Ooh. It really looks amazing. And this type of videos, it just makes me want to be there badly, 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 you know? Uh, it's really, really impressive how you keep these traditions, 400 years of traditions, and I think, I think so that's something that we have to mention and I have to recognize to India, how you keep your traditions like very close to you, you keep 20 years after years like this, the new generation don't lose that, don't miss in that part, and I think so that's extremely important and that's something that is uh, important to keep because if you lose your traditions as well, if you lose what what your ancestors did, used to do, you could lose your identity. It's not pro, it's not bad to keep evolutionary at the same time, but as well always remember where you're coming from. Um, for example, in Mexico, uh, it happened that the day of the Dia de Muertos, that is coming the second of November, it was start, that tradition started uh, getting lost with the new generations. Uh, that tradition is about making an altar for the people that pass away because we believe that, that they, they come back to eat their food that they, they love when they were alive and enjoy again with the family. But with the new generations, they were be missing that until the, uh, the movie Coco came and they start making that, uh, that they show us again and then remind us what is this old tradition about. So we start making it like with that, that movie uh, revive again our tradition. So again, a, a new generation start making this kind of celebrations. Uh, and I think so for India is they you never let that the young generation forget where you are, what you're coming from, what you believe. And that's as well very, very nice because it will be still passing years, more than 400 years, 500 years, and generations will still telling this, uh, these stories. So I think so that's amazing from India. So it's a beautiful, beautiful celebration. And I think so all the celebrations that have been uh, watching uh, so far, they are just amazing, really like just what you can see, what you can just enjoy there is, it's, I think, I don't know, it's just something that blew my mind. It's out of this world. Uh, and I hope next year I can celebrate them. I know I, I, have, I have read a lot of comments uh, from you guys saying that from August to, I should stay from August to March, like this, I can enjoy all the festivals that you have or the most of them. Uh, so I wish I could do that. That would be like, a, wow, you know, if I could, if I were able to do that, that would be amazing. Uh, but hopefully soon I can buy my flights to be to, to go into India as well. By other time, I feel that it's a long time to wait for August. That hopefully this COVID pass and I can be traveling for February. I doubt it at this point, you know, because we don't hear anything anything about the vaccine. I doubt it, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it will happen. Uh, and a lot of comments as well, guys. I just want to say I have been receiving about the one to uh, hear uh, learning Spanish. Other comments were saying about do it at the end of the video, putting some phrases, some words that like you are learning more. So in the coming videos, I will start doing that, and I will be showing you one letter, one phrase in Spanish like this. You can be practicing, and these videos as well, you get entertained and you can learn a little bit more. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, it's amazing. I just enjoy doing these Indian videos more and more every time. I get so excited. And now that I was trying the food in Guadalajara, oh my God, I can't wait to be in India. So see you tomorrow with another video. Have an amazing day and see you tomorrow. Bye.